In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of using BCC Extruded Text in Adobe After Effects. BCC Extruded Text belongs in the 3D Objects category of filters, which is new to BCC6. These stunning OGL-based filters use vertex and pixel shaders that enable the generation of animated 3D shatter, bulge, bend, taper, twist, ripple, and wave effects. You can also create reflection or texture maps for the generated 3D text from any image or video clip in the AE timeline. The results speak for themselves. You've probably seen BCC extruded text on TV shows and commercials. So let's get started. In After Effects, create a new solid layer. Make sure the solid matches the dimensions of your composition, otherwise scaling and other transforms won't look right. BCC Extruded Text is in the 3D Objects category. Just click and drag. There will be a brief graphics card test, and then you get the text pop-up window. So just give me a minute here to type some completely random text, and there we go. Now as you can see, this is a fully functional text generator. You can edit justification, font, size, anything you would expect to be able to change in a text editing tool. You can even change tracking, kerning, and letting. Although I'm not going to change everything here that you could, but just be aware you can do a lot in this text editor alone. Okay, then hit apply when you're ready to start working with 3D text. And there you have it, instant 3D extruded text. Now there's a lot you can do to change how this text appears. For example, look at some of the built-in presets. You can change textures, you can make your own custom bevels or extrusions. You can do so much that I can't possibly show you all of it in one tutorial. So for now I'll just give you a small sample of the different styles and then move on to showing you how to do some basic transformations. Okay, this is a nice rounded style. Let's work with this one. So I'm going to show you how to do some basic transformations to the text. I'm going to start with a rotation. Rotating the text is quite simple really. Just expand the transformations tab and you have these controls here. Rotate X, Y, and Z. Scrubbing either of these controls will rotate the text along that axis. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, but suppose you want to be able to rotate the text using on-screen controls. Well, you can do that. It just takes a little bit of After Effects know-how. So I'm going to show you that trick. To rotate the text using on-screen controls, you have to create a null object. Make sure it's a 3D null object, and then expand the rotation controls. Good. Next, go into the text controls, go back into the transformations, get rotate X, Y, and Z into the timeline, then select them and add an expression. Expand them once more and then you're just going to link the rotate X, Y, and Z from your text to the rotate X, Y, and Z of the null object. This will link the transformations of your null object to those of your text, giving you the ability to transform the text by just moving the null object. So here we go. This is a much more convenient way to rotate your text, and in some cases it can really save a lot of time. Okay, now that we have our text angled the way we want it, let's make it more dramatic by adding some cool lighting to it. Now the filter comes with its own built-in light, but I'm going to show you how to use an AE light. It's actually pretty easy. The filter automatically responds to any AE lights in the comp. So I'm going to start with a spotlight, a yellow spotlight. You might not think that's a good idea, but wait and see. Okay, and I am going to balance that out with another light. Let's use a blue one. Alright, got some nice lighting going on here. I do want you to pay attention to some of the neat shadows that are being formed in real time by these lights. This is also a good time to point out that you can create your own custom bevels and extrusions for the text. Notice how the text tapers towards the back. This was a custom extrusion created from an AE mask. You can save your extrusions and bevels and use them in later projects. Okay, let's add some motion to the text. Now the best way to give your text motion is to use a camera. The filter comes with its own camera, but I'm going to use an After Effects camera. Check off, use Comp Camera, and just create an AE camera. 
then change your view mode to two views and here we go now all you have to do to create a nice simple flyby is change the position of your camera and keyframe it so I'm going to start with the camera a little bit off screen now you'll also notice that the rotation we put on the text might not look so good at all angles so I'm going to actually shift the camera a little bit to compensate we're gonna do a nice simple flyby and I'm gonna change the path spline shape Okay, I'm just going to scrub the timeline a little bit to see that it's going to look the way I want it. And now let's see what it looks like in render mode. Now before I go, there's just one more thing I gotta show you, and that's deformers. Look at curl for example. Curl lets you bend and warp the text to not just one but two angles at once. Notice the real-time shadows that are being affected by the new text angle. Shatter is also really cool, and it should look familiar, unless you're one of those people who skip through a tutorial just to see where it's going. The other deformers are also great. Pulse, Ripple, there's actually so much I could say about them I can't possibly fit it in into one tutorial. Speaking of which, I'm out of time. If you need more help, check out the built-in PDF help file that comes with all BCC filters or visit our website at www.horsefx.com where you can find more tutorials on extruded text and other BCC filters.